Hi friends. I'm gonna get a little bit ready today. A little bit. Just, just enough to like not look so naked, I should say. I have a few things to show you today and share with you that I have not shared with you yet. Um, partially because it just happened so fast that I, I just kept forgetting to like update you guys about it. So a few, maybe like a month ago, actually like I've seen the ads on Facebook and Instagram and probably even on TikTok. Um, and I forget, Conquer Quests. I'll have to look at it when I get downstairs. Um, but there are these um, walking awards that you can um, sign up to receive if you are successful in your walking journey um, and you can pick a location where you want to walk um, and they're usually for 50 to 60 70 miles and you go at your own pace you walk and your phone will um, track your walking track your distance and as soon as you um, arrive at different locations so the location that I chose was, of course, in Maui, and it was the Road to Hana. I wanted to walk the Road to Hana. It was 64 miles. I wanted to see how long it would take me to have it um, kind of help motivate me as I walk each week, each day. Um, as you walk, it will tell you that you are reaching like different mile markers or road markers or in Hawaii, different landmarks and, and things you can go and look at, right? Um, and it sends you postcards, little digital postcards, when you arrive at those designated locations. And I, it was fun, and I started doing it. I signed up for it. It's about $30 um, for the Road to Hana journey. I'm trying to find some makeup here. I'm trying to decide what I do for my face give it a little bit of life here. So I signed up for the Road to Hana and started walking. I was kind of hoping that it would let me go back and track that 13 miles that I had done already, but it didn't. Um, it wouldn't let me go back. And I guess maybe you can go back and add, but I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do this and go forward and see what I can do uh, going forward. And I'm kind of glad that I did because it kind of gave me a better perspective of what I can do. And um, so I was going to tell you guys about it and have you join in my journey. Um, but, and I thought it would, I signed up for like a five week, like course, like that I had a goal of getting it done in five weeks. Um, and so I thought after the first week, I was going to tell you guys about it. But then after that first week, I realized that I was halfway to my goal. <laughs> and since I time delay my videos, by the time you would actually see the video of my first week, it would actually be <laughs> beyond two weeks and I had actually reached my goal. In less than two weeks, I received my 64 miles. I walked my 64 miles and got my award. So I'm gonna go down and share it with you and um, kind of try and help you be encouraged in this journey that I know a lot of you are starting on yourself. Um, either you have already started it and that's why you have found my channel or I'm helping to encourage you, which I really hope um, is the case because it really like seemed a little daunting to think that I could walk 64 miles but I did it in less than two weeks and I was not working out every day you guys I was not um, so let me finish my makeup here just a little bit and then we're gonna go downstairs and I'll show you the award because it just came in the mail yesterday and I'm dying to open it but I want you guys to see it with me much better I'm not going to do a ton of makeup because I am going to walk tonight when Ashley is at her cheer practices. Um, and I did just wash my hair yesterday, so I have it just pulled back and straight. 
Why did I just hear a sniff? Is that Chelsea? Yeah. <laughs> I always get confused about what order kids go to school on Wednesday. I don't leave till 55 on Wednesdays. I know, but it's like you're out of order because Ashley goes first and then Kaylee and Abby just left and then it's you. Your shorts are cute. You know, because it's 60 degrees today, so the kids are all like, it's summer. No. <laughs> Ashley wore shorts. Kaylee and Abby actually, actually wore the same pajama pants, and Abby refused to change. Actually, they both technically refused to change. <laughs> and so they walked out to Kaylee's car this morning, and they wore the exact same clothes. It was quite funny, but all right. So it is called the Conquer virtual challenge so you can do it anywhere that you want you can choose england you can choose um new zealand you can like anywhere in the world um they have something that you can do um it's the conquer dot events i will try and put like a link down below i might even be able to do like a like a referral code link i'll try and do it but this is my award and i thought it would be fun to like open it with you um I I surprised myself in, in doing the um, 64 miles in that short a time and uh, it just was really motivating for me so I'm going to try and find another location and I wanted to know if you guys wanted to join me and um, we can share postcards like the digital postcards along the way we can share it with each other um, either like on DMs over on my Instagram account or um, Leave a comment down below and I can give you a shout out in the video that you got to mile marker such and such on your road to wherever you're going. Um, I just, it's fun to like motivate myself with little things like this. Um, and so if I can help motivate you, that would be great too. So I just want to open this up. Let's see what this looks like. Everyone's kind of dying. Like Jason wanted to see it this morning. I was like, no, I have to open up for you guys first. So just know that you came before Jason today. And I've got the box ready to open. There's like a lay -E in here, um, along with the award. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. You guys, look how cool that looks. Oh my goodness. Oh, so it comes on the lay -E. How stinking cool is this? I know this is just like a cheap plastic lay -E, but this is real metal. Oh my goodness. The road to Hana. Look at that. I know I haven't run a marathon, but I feel like I have. I earned this. Oh my gosh. Like, do they have other places in Hawaii? Because now I want all the Hawaii ones, but I don't think there are. I think Road to Hana was the only one in Hawaii. Maybe I just keep doing the Road to Hana because look how cute this is. Look at that. And like it's thick. It's like good weight. You guys. How fitting. I didn't even plan this. I am wearing my Maui shirt. Like how fitting is this? How fitting. I'm obviously never going to wear this. But look how cool this is. I, I don't know. It feels so good. It feels cool to like have something in your hands. Like as proof of the hard work you're doing. It says Maui, Hawaii virtual challenges. It's in teeny tiny print down here. It says Maui, Hawaii virtual challenges. Up here it says the road to Hana. That's so cool. So who's in? Who wants to do another challenge with me? I'm going to go on the website and see if there's another interesting one that I could do. Um, there's like all the national parks. There's the Paris. I don't know. I just don't know those places well enough. Like Hawaii was like very fun for me to do. Um, so I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of at a a point with this journey that like is kind of frustrating because I know I'm not doing as good on a lot of my choices of eating and like walking and stuff. I did four miles yesterday, but I didn't walk the day before or, or on Sunday. And so, um, I know that I'm not making the best choices, but, but at the same time, I am like doing pretty good and I am walking and I'm not, 
I'm not losing weight. I'm not, like it fluctuates like three pounds, like from one day to the next, and that's frustrating to me. Um, but I know that like more than anything, I have to change like lifestyle. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to make myself a protein drink for breakfast. I'm going to cut up the pineapple right there. It is very ripe and ready to eat. I forgot to get the protein. PB Fit. So I'm going to have that and maybe some toast because I think I need to have some substance. Um, and then maybe you want to come on a little journey with me. Get some toast. And then you can come with me today. We're going to go to the dollar store and maybe Marshall's. Dollar store, I'm trying to find just a few birthday things you'll see later i'm just feeling a little guilty for not actually doing birthday stuff it's just all at once birthday vacation easter we have a conference this sunday family coming into town it's just it's a lot okay let me make this smoothie really quick Check it out. I found the perfect little spot to put my little award. It fits in perfectly with all my other little Hawaiian stuff. I still can't believe I haven't put Jason a nice picture in there from our last trip, but I might actually like get some more stuff to add to this from our next trip. <laughs> but I think that's so fun to have and like conversation starter if people see it all right so I am going to head out I am nice and full that toast and the drink totally did it I actually had too much to fill my cup today and so I put the rest of it in the cup in the freezer so maybe it'll be like a nice little protein snack for me tonight so what I've been trying to find is like things I can have in the afternoon um, when I have that like <coughs> snacky cravings and I want it to taste good I want to like look forward to having it and everything I've tried so far is like oh not good so again I'm on a hunt for a good vanilla protein powder so again leave your favorites down below we cannot have an aftertaste and they cannot be taint grainy once they have been like blended up it cannot be grainy. Standing underneath the lights, look into each other's eyes. Tired snowflakes are coming down, collapse into water when they hit the ground. All right, um, according to the uh, sales clerk, apparently, I like this color. <laughs> It hadn't even occurred to me until she pointed it out. Um, but I did choose this t-shirt. It's actually kind of cute. It's a little bit nicer than like a regular t-shirt just because it has like a little, I don't know if you can see it. it. Has the extra little seam here on the sleeve. I just liked having new shirts on airplanes. I don't know, it makes you feel fresh and kind of, fa not fancy, I'm not fancy, but it just feels good to have clean clothes, new clothes when you travel. Um, and, uh, I have a, a, one outfit for like maybe the luau and then my dress for the luau and our family pictures. So I'm not worried about being fancy, getting gussied up any more than just like a tank top and cute little Hawaiian shorts that I've already got. So I am going to head to the dollar store now and get, um, birthday supplies. <sighs> I just, I don't want to go over the top for like Ashley. She's turning 10 and I want to celebrate her birthday and it's all fine and good. And they all understand they possibly will get like, you know, birthday dinner out either before we leave on our vacation or on vacation. Um, but Kaylee, I can't like not do a little bit more cause she's turning 18 and she's graduating. So it's like, kind of have to like I want to 
she's 18 like I don't want to regret later like not doing a little bit extra but I'm not doing like a big balloon you know arch like I've done in the past I just don't have it in me so I gotta figure out some other way I did buy something yesterday but I probably will just keep a surprise and let you guys see it for the first time with Kaylee and um, see what else I can do I have to get bags they were on the seat back there so I have that and tissue paper but I just need a little bit more just and I have something on Amazon that I can order as well um, and then I'll order some more stuff for graduation later we'll worry about that later I actually have a whole box full of stuff that I got for my friend there was like 12 kids that graduated last year from our friends from church and they gave me all of their decorations this year only Kaylee and one boy are graduating from their you know from church like from the groups of kids that are her age at church <laughs> not that she's going any these days but it's kind of sad that there's not any more <laughs> that are graduating with her you would think that I was all about matching everything that I have <laughs> literally didn't plan that um, I ordered balloons for one for Ashley's birthday and then I got double-sided tape and some wrapping paper just to add color I'm gonna wrap a few small gifts that are definite like boxes that I could wrap that are easier and then some of the other stuff is easier to just put it into a bag all right Ashley is home we have done therapy I have made more lists and watched the show and had a healthy lunch I cut that pineapple and had some cottage cheese I actually probably had like two servings of cottage cheese I'm trying to start to count my protein so I've technically had what it's garage spelled like g-r-a-a-g-e d-a-r g-a-r-a-g-e sorry she's my little messenger she's texting all the kids anyway so technically i've had 26 grams of protein today but that's not enough might have been oh i had protein drink this morning i should actually find out how much is in that let's I go do that really quick i had a drink i had because a... i am not i know that when i was losing the weight i was eating and drinking more protein so that is my mission right now i'm just going to double check this for my own sake one serving size is two scoops and that is is 21 grams of protein so technically only 10 grams of protein because i only did one scoop of the what did i say so 10 10 and a half and then on the PB Fit one, how much is a serving? Two, again, probably, well, that's probably one scoop. How much protein? Can't find, oh, eight grams. So maybe 19 grams of protein from my breakfast this morning. And not much protein in a, loaf, in a piece of bread, even though it was whole wheat. Okay, you ready to go? She is going to cheer and I am going walk um so how much was that what did i say 19 plus 21 so 30 30 no 40 40 40 grams so far so i need to have like some chicken or something for dinner i don't i need to look it up but i need to figure out how much protein i need to get during the day so that's my next thing to look up tonight I'm really trying to be better with that. You got a water? Perfect. I got mine. All right. Ashley's in cheer. Right here. Building behind me. It is too nice out here. It's a little chilly. So I got another layer on. Um, I'm going to walk outside. Because it's just too... When, it, when it's sunny in Seattle, you have to be, you have to be outside. And so I'm going to walk my old Ride and Die True trail over here until I get either cold or sick of it, and then I'll get, go the other direction into town, and then maybe I'll go inside and finish. Jason might actually join me too. We'll see.
you'd think I was out of breath from having just gotten done walking. No, I just I'm out of breath from having to run to an emergency stop at the bathroom <laughs> here at the community center. I was in my car. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Ashley has like 30 minutes left of um, cheer. I can see her. I'm sitting right out front. I stopped walking about an hour ago. Um, I did, officially, I did eight, 8.11 miles here tonight while um, she was in cheer. No. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, no, I did 8.11 miles total for the day. So I did six miles, six and a half miles um, while she was at cheer. And I just running errands and doing my thing at home, I did about a mile and a half, almost two miles. And so I'm at eight miles for the day. So not bad. I kind of had a inner goal to do 10 miles today, but I'm not going to push myself. My feet hurt. And I mean, actually I probably could go back and walk for another half hour or so. Um, but I'm just tired. <laughs> so I am waiting for her to get done. Jason ended up not meeting me down here. Um, he had a late customer and, um, didn't get home till probably about a half hour ago. And he's like, I am so dehydrated. I'm hungry. I'm tired. So he was going to eat and hydrate and then try and work out himself and be showered by the time we get home so that he can help. He actually doesn't need help getting ready for bed, but I think I'm going to shower and climb into bed myself. I'm pretty tired. Um, but I ended up chatting with my sister on Marco Polo um, for probably two miles while I walked outside. I stopped filming. Um, it was pretty where I was walking, um, more in town and through little pathways and sidewalks, um, in town. I call it town, but it's like such a small town. Um, but I ended up Marco Poloing with my sister trying to, I'm trying to work on something that I'm saving up for and it's kind of like a big life event for myself and, uh, um, just, she's like the perfect person to talk to you about it and, um, not that other people aren't, she just, anyway, I'll, ha I'll explain what it is all about later. I'm just not comfortable, ready to talk about it now, but I ended up talking to her for two miles back and forth with Marco Polos. And I just love that I have like a cheerleader in my corner to help me and encourage me. Um, and especially if that's my sister, my twin sister, sister is the same way. Um, she's just sick right now. <laughs> And, uh, anyway, and so it was fun to just Marco Polo back and forth with my sister and just hear about her day as well and get encouragement from her. Um, she has her own like weight loss goals, um, that she's working on just to have a, this kid down the street. What a pot. Seriously. He just ruined his bike. He was like jumping up and down on his bike, laying on the ground. This, these teenagers down here, I know one of them. He's such a delinquent child. I'm sorry, but he is the, oh, he's such a delinquent. He's going to end up in jail. Um, he literally just ruined his bike. He was jumping up and down on it earlier and I didn't know if it was his bike or not. So I drove down past him, rolled down my window and was about to like tell him to get off the bike, but he got off of it and like started to walk around with it like it was his own. I was like, okay, fine. As long as you're not ruining it. But just as I'm talking, I literally saw a tire, a bike tire bounce down the street and I'm not going to show their faces. Um, or what they're, they're just, they're destroying this bike. So either they stole it from, he's like stomping on it. Like what the crap kid? He just destroyed probably a $200 bike for what? If it wasn't his, if he stole it, like, why would you steal a bike and then ruin it? And he probably did steal it. That's probably the reality. Anyway, I digress. I don't even know what I was talking about. But, um, overall today, I just wanted you guys to know, and my stomach is really cramping up right now. 
which is why I had to rush to the bathroom before. This is why I have to stay close to bathrooms when I walk because it's all hitting me now. <laughs> oh. mm, if you guys know, you know. Um, don't give up. If you haven't even started on a journey, if you haven't started walking or working out or going to an aerobics class, or if you haven't changed what you, you're eating, I mean, I freaking, you know, whatever. I don't make the right choices. Um, I go days where I don't work out. Like, my sister was like, oh my goodness, I haven't, like, worked out for two days. I was so lazy today. And I'm like, I'm not saying any of what I'm saying to make any of you feel guilty, including my sister. I'm just trying to give other people encouragement where I could have needed it and used it a year ago or two years ago, heck, 10 years ago. I was kind of, um, I had closed myself off from getting motivation and getting help just because I thought it was unattainable. Um, but now I see that like, I thought I had to like run and work out like hardcore at the gym and those things are intimidating for me. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I need to end this. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom again. And I can't even tell you how many times I've gone to the bathroom since we started this whole journey tonight. I, I gotta just know that I want to motivate you and I don't ever wanna make you guys feel guilty. I'm here for you, but I gotta go take care of myself. <laughs> I gotta go. Take care. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.